everyone, so I'm pretty known on this channel to review the latest and greatest camera equipment. Just this year in 2019, I gave you my first impressions of the Sigma 35mm 1.4. Last year in 2018, we reviewed the Sony A7 Mark II. And now I think I have the latest and greatest gear of all, the Pentax K100D. <laughs> So in all seriousness, this was my first ever DSLR. So it has some sentimental value for me as it got me started in photography. And we are going to be doing a portrait photo shoot challenge on this camera today to see if we can take some nice photos with it. So what can I tell you about this camera? The Pentax K100D came with a kit lens when I first bought it and used it. That broke, it's got like a scratch in the front of the glass or like a crack in it so it doesn't take clear photos. I ended up getting the Sigma 28 millimeter f2.8 vintage lens instead, which is manual focus. This camera came out in 2006 and I think I got it in probably 2007 or 8 as that's when I like started taking photography a little bit more seriously. It is powered with AA batteries, four of them, which is insane to see nowadays. And also the SD card slot that it has, I had to upgrade the firmware of this camera because it wouldn't allow me to insert an SD card bigger than two gigs. So now that I've upgraded that, it's, um, I think I've got a 32 gig in there. It also has a pop-up flash. I also can't see through the viewfinder really well, so I'm really nervous to do today's photo shoot because I really hope we can get at least one photo in focus. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to start taking photos now. Katya is our model for today. I want to say a really big thank you for her being on board to do this photo shoot with me today. Lydia's done hair and makeup. Dan, as usual, is filming today's behind the scenes. And we have an outfit from Susie Rose, which is super beautiful and I think will suit the beach scenery that we'll go down to in a minute to shoot with. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really excited to start taking some photos on this. I'm just gonna test the lighting. Interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna shoot kind of from like down here. If you wanted to kind of lean over towards me just a little bit. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, the buffer. I can only take like two photos before it has to load. Wow. This is gonna be a slow yeah. shoot. But <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. Some editing. <laughs> Change up the colors a bit. Wow, that's so different compared to the ones you have now. I know. The other ones have been so crisp. Yeah, this you know one's I mean. just like, yeah, it looks so low res. All kind of. Um, 2D? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll try a close-up portrait here. Maybe that'll look a bit nicer. I guess the nice backlight and the tree should look good in the background. Really nice. I'll hold that for a second. <laughs> Get focused. Here we go. Gotta wait a long time <laughs> to see the review. Suspense. Yeah. <laughs> That's not too bad. Like it's, we've got yeah. like the background's looking nice. Like dappled? Yeah. The colors are funky. Okay, let's move on to the stairs. The sun's kind of poking out from behind the clouds, so I'm gonna try and get a nice backlit shot with this camera. Um, I really like, like how the sun's kind of all golden in her hair, so we're going to see if we can do that with this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of working. Maybe we can do like a side-on shot actually. 
Gotcha. Sorry, the camera's like buffering. <laughs> Wait, let me shoot anything. And then I think we'll do some there on that flat bit with the water in the background. If you wanna stand maybe there in between the first rock and the edge in the middle. I'm gonna go for a little daylight white balance. I don't think you can actually choose the Kelvin, which is what I normally do when I'm shooting with Canon or Sony. So daylight it is, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, the colors are still funky. It didn't fix anything. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, I want to shoot like so many photos, but I can't. <laughs> it won't let me. <laughs> like your movement looks so good. I know. I like actually have to wait for the right moment. It's so perfect. Cool. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> Not my precious camera. <laughs> I'm gonna get a full body landscape shot. Yeah, if you kind of want to flick the dress around a little bit. No, no, you're good. That looks really good. I'm not shooting because it won't let me though. <laughs> All right, and now I'll get a few closer up shots too. Oh, that's nice there. Can I also get you sitting on a rock? I think this one, like here okay. with your feet that way. Mm -hmm. And I'll shoot with the sun behind you. You're like a mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no, did you get it all wet? Yeah, that happens like once every second shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing out of the <laughs> <laughs> Um, I might actually get you to kind of have your legs like this instead. really pretty. Can we make sure that the it's a bit dark? I'm gonna take, just hold the same pose. I'm gonna take a couple just to make sure that it's in focus. Cause I can't actually see properly through this viewfinder. Whoa, this is like too pretty of an outfit. Now I'm gonna take the exact same shot I took with the Pentax on my Canon 5D Mark IV which is the camera that I use a lot more often nowadays. My God, already, uh, already it's just so much easier <laughs> and it looks so much nicer. Yeah, wow. And I also am gonna take a photo on the Google Pixel.
So we just finished doing our photo shoot on my first ever DSLR, the Pentax K100D. I just want to show you guys how awful the back of the screen looks. I am so nervous to download and edit these photos, but I'll get like a close-up shot here. You also can't see focus whatsoever. Battery depleted. <laughs> You get the idea. The back of the screen is not clear whatsoever. It's got like a really weird green orange tinge over it. Another thing I noticed is that it's also very slow to take photos. I'm definitely used to the speed of like memory card buffering and camera buffering nowadays with like the Canon 5D Mark IV and the Sony a7 III. Katia is also an amazing model so she was moving around so well and I wanted to snap all the photos but I couldn't. I had to take like one picture per like five to eight seconds but i had such a good experience getting to shoot on my first ever dslr again i think it was really fun and it's also really interesting to see how far cameras have come as well in saying that you can still take a beautiful photo on any single camera that you have i hope you also like the Canon to Pentax to Google Pixel phone comparison as well. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the photos down in the comments below. And I'd also love to know if anyone else has shot on this camera before. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single Wednesday and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.